As battle against the COVID-19 pandemic continues, attention is fixated on emerging variants of the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, virus that have been considered variants of concern, because they are resistant to antibodies, provoked by infection, or vaccination, or they increase transmissibility, or severity of disease. The Epsilon variant is obtaining a higher profile, as cases of COVID-19 spike among the unvaccinated individuals, driven in part by the widely spread Delta variant. Epsilon variant, also recognized as CAL20C and referring to two lineages B.1.427 and B.1.429, is one of the variants of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. It was first detected in California, USA in July 2020. Apart from the United States, it has been found in 34 nations. Earlier, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention had declared it a variant of concern, but later revised it as a variant of interest. However, on July 6, the World Health Organization designated it under alerts for further monitoring. In the laboratory, the Epsilon variant has found to be more infectious and 20% more transmissible than former variants. In addition to this, researchers have discovered five defining mutations, of which the L452 are is of particular concern. One alteration was detected in the receptor binding domain, a fragment that helps the virus to enter the host cells. This is the component of the virus, targeted by vaccines, and the variation could make the Epsilon variant up to 70% less susceptible to the COVID-19 shot. Two changes are spotted in the spike proteins, in the N-terminal domain that antibodies bind to while fighting off infection. This could make the Epsilon variant, resistant to the antibodies, an individual develops in response to COVID-19. According to a research, the Epsilon strain can completely escape lab-made antibodies and reduce effectiveness of the antibodies generated in the plasma of vaccinated people. The ability to neutralize this variant has been reported to reduce 2.5 to 3 times in blood plasma of vaccinated people. The variants spread the same way as the original COVID-19, but they spread more easily. Following current public health measures including Frequent hand washing Physical distancing Wearing a well-fitted, three-layer mask Avoiding crowded or poorly ventilated spaces Staying home when you're sick And getting vaccinated can help to limit the spread